Hey, how's it going, guys? Hope you guys are having a good day. I know I am. So today, man, um, I have a special video video for you today. Um, and it's just gonna be a tips and trick video about a uh, rogue company. Um, I've been playing it for quite a while now, uh, ever since it's been released, and so I feel like I've learned enough about the game to be able to pass on some knowledge to some people that have not necessarily gotten into the game or are still struggling to, you know, get a good amount of kills or whatever. So I picked my own gameplay. It's one of my higher kill games. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, basically one of my higher kill games. It was only 18 kills, but um, that's somewhat in the higher range. But uh. I chose this one specific specifically because I was recording and it was one of the higher gameplays I had recorded and also along with it is uh, I just want to pinpoint some of the things that I do that helps me out get kills but also along with it um, I want to pinpoint some things that I have a pro I have problems with and maybe you can learn from some of my mistakes you know so if you guys are watching this on Instagram or maybe Twitter just go ahead and hit the link so you can cut so it redirects you back to this video so you can watch the full thing and go ahead and like comment subscribe man if you haven't already I dropped content every monday wednesday and friday and sometimes in between if i'm feeling like doing it but uh, jumping right into the video i feel like my first tip needs to be that you need to find a rogue that you are comfortable with you you know you basically got all their pet their perks down you know everything basically about them gun wise uh perk wise like i said um mainly uh, ability wise you feel like it suits your play style so for me personally i feel like anvil really works well with me just because of his gun is really his gun's really top notch he's the only one that has an lmg which is pretty powerful and along with it he's more of a defender he can set up a barricade to protect himself and so i feel like it's a pretty decent thing now uh, a second tip i would say is when it's the beginner round <coughs> don't don't necessarily spend your money on anything um and me personally i just leave everything how it is so i have enough money come next round to be able to buy you know my actual weapon because if it comes down to it you end up spending money this round and you won't be able to buy in case you don't get a kill or anything you won't be able to buy a primary weapon come next round which is not you know necessarily good for you or your team so don't spend your money too quick um so starting off first thing i feel like our biggest thing is um you need to learn if you not have not already to switch shoulders um so usually switching shoulders give you a better view around things i've watched many players play and they just don't switch the shoulders they kind of just stay under one like kind of like fortnite i guess if they're playing that and they just stay on the right side most of the time and just don't switch but it really gives you a big advantage about you know getting around corners and seeing people before they see you <clears throat> and i feel like it's a big thing a lot of people don't utilize and usually around cover as well you'll be able to peek out quick and, and things like that and so and just this clip right here actually it shows you me just being able to you know choose and then uh or i get hit in the back from uh usually your teammates need to be backing you up but you know that's not that big of a deal honestly um now going next to it i think the next thing i have going on is me this is something that i could uh necessarily work on is when it comes to certain things uh you can kind of you kind of need to focus on uh the map you are playing on um usually you can utilize some of the things like right here a door you can open a door on this map specifically i think this is favelas so you need you know take caution and your surrounding areas or whatever and be able to know like where you can get out and everything like that so i usually open this door just so i can back out it say if i need to now um i feel like one of the things that i do have a problem with is uh I, I i tend to get a little kill hungry and i start trying to kill you know people quickly um even when they're down uh and uh, you know i need to kind of just tend off a little bit and focus on you know other people along with that i do have a tendency to put down anvil's barricade when it's, you know it's not the best time to put it down um uh, but as you can see there i kind of used the the barricade to my leverage so i guess that was an okay time to do that um but not necessarily another big thing that i did uh, i did find out whenever i actually played on the controller for a little bit is aim assist is really strong in this game if you kind of like just go through with lt and just basically spam it you can basically lock onto a target and not miss um i remember i was using dallas with his magnum and i literally was just spamming lt and i mean i hit every shot and it was all of them were headshots so that's one thing you can utilize if you're playing on controller and you have aim assist just spam lt and you kind of just lock on to people now this is one of the times where i feel like i can pinpoint two things and one being obviously uh that placement of that bear cat i don't know why i was putting it right there i saw her on that 
that side but most likely i needed to put it on this side because you see there's one two and then there's a third spot right around there where people can basically shoot me from behind so that was not a necessarily a great place to put that i just kind of panicked in the moment now um uh, one thing i think coming up is in my opinion i feel like something I, I don't do but a lot of people don't do also is uh just hip firing you need to learn to hip fire up close i have a tendency to just aim in you know uh, even though that hits are, I, I have a tendency to aim in real quick no matter how close or how far away you know and sometimes well technically far away you do need to be aiming in but up close the game has enough bloom where well, the bloom isn't too crazy in the game that you'll be able to hit people you know pretty close pretty far away actually and still you know hit them every single shot so you don't have to aim in necessarily every single time um you definitely can just basically you know hit people hit firing and you're okay with it now another thing i can say is um in my opinion uh, like i said i have anvil as kind of like a defender but it's someone else that i feel like is really by a reliable or viable for a team is saint just because he can basically heal people without ever having to heal them and you know he can send his drone out there to heal somebody and still you know hold fire or give cover fire while someone's being revived which is really really important and i feel like every team that comes out should have a saint um his weapon you know it's hard to get used to just because of the site but like i said saint is a really really good Good operator or rogue that you can use um now this is one of the things that i also picked up in this gameplay is just remember <laughs> who has the bomb man if you got the bomb if you're already in here in this whole i think for a good 10 15 seconds i don't even realize that i have the bomb and so we're running around out there and then i finally realized oh i have the bomb i need to go plant it you know we're all sitting in there and that's one of my big things is i don't pay attention you need to pay attention to make sure who has a bomb and you always need to have a plan communicating with teammates which site you're going to go to i think coming along later in this video i show on defense it's not really big on uh attacking though you can look at it sometimes and give you some information but most of the time defense is really the big part on which what you need to be looking at um so i end up uh placing a bomb here and we end up getting that right there and this is one of the times i actually get kill hungry as well coming up in this part this part right here is i end up down in this guy and am i you know i down him and he hides behind a corner and he, there's no chalk there's no saying there's no reason for me to push this but I, for some reason i still push it trying to get a kill on him and the girl ends up sniping me and so you know that's one of my big things like i said and usually some people can learn from this as well don't be so kill hungry they're gonna go down you know so you don't have to worry about it so here's one of my main probably one of the bigger points on defense is watch where they go um in this video i mean in this clip right here you can see it looks like they're branching off once some going a some going b but you can see right here how they kind of cut off and go all go to b that's what you need to be looking at at all times you always need to be watching where on defense specifically you need to be watching where they are going the attack it team wise to know where you need to you know actually defend now sometimes they can cut a little curve right there and end up going a but most of the time the smoke you know kind of clearly gives it away where they're going and so that gives you know basically a pretty good idea of where they're going to be and you can set up your defense since you are closer to the bomb um going along with that if you are attacking you can check where the defenders are going but usually the defenders are going to read off of you not you re reading off the defenders and so here goes another thing I, i'm not too sure what my placement or my idea of placing that right there was for um i already had cover right there that's not basically that's not the best place to put it but you can see i'm kind of using it and using switching shoulders to be able to try and get a kill and so i feel like um that's basically the end of the video i believe yeah and so right here you can just see i got 18 kills and 14 downs and so like i said this was one of my higher kill games that i had recorded so this is why i decided to pick this one in particular now uh like i said man those were just a few tips and tricks that i wanted to give like i, I played the game for a little bit but a, the, i feel like the biggest ones is find a character that you are comfortable with and are able to use but also viable to the team um usually when it comes to the first round you always uh you're kind of at a disadvantage if you don't choose someone like scorch or chalk or i think ronan and uh, lancer are the four that have machine gun pistols kind of disadvantage at the first round just because everybody has pistols and then they end up having machine gun pistols so it's a little harder i think they're called spitfires then it's a little harder for you to you know be able to protect yourself when they have you know a, a kind of a, a up a, a upper hand on weapon wise but um 
coming out to it, you need, like I said, you need to find somebody that you feel you are comfortable with and you need to just learn their abilities to the best of your ability and that you can help the team out wise. And then just, just getting down the basics, especially with controller, it's a little different than most games. Um, you're not say if you're coming over from Call of Duty or Fortnite or something like that, it definitely doesn't have the same button controls. I mean, melee is on the D-pad, so I mean, and you really can't change it to anything else, which is really weird. And meleeing actually is a big thing when it comes to this game. I don't necessarily recommend buying melee weapons, but you can if you'd like. Um, but yeah, that's all the tips i could really give for the moment i feel like that was basically everything like i said i just want to use my gameplay as just a a point picking point for me myself but also giving you some tips and tricks of some things that i feel like i do decently that help me get you know a good amount of kills so yeah that's going to be the end of the video man i appreciate you guys watching it uh, if you can man like the video comment let me know what you guys are who's your favorite rogue is and you know your highest kill is actually i want to know how high there is because i know i think my highest maybe was 28 29 having hit the 30s yet trying to strive for it in demolition that is particularly but um also subscribe i drop content every monday wednesday and friday sometimes in between depending on how i'm feeling or if i have time but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you